Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Review, and welcome back to Other Half Week. Uh, today's beer comes courtesy of Bob from I Drink Beer, so thank you, Bob. Uh, you guys might know Bob. If you don't watch their channel, you should. I'll put a link uh, to their channel in my description. But uh, you might know him if you watch my 400th beer review. Uh, he was a guy with a shirt off. Um, anyway, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go check that out, then watch this one. Uh, so really excited for this beer. It's O... Dot, 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 uh, double Dry Hopped India Pale Ale. Uh, 6% ABV and just under a month old. I've never had this beer, but I'm really excited to get into it. Um, the good thing, I typically, like in terms of like what you get on the outside of another half can, um, I almost always love the uh, can art on it. <clears throat> uh, it tells you the ABV, which I like, style. Uh, it'll say oat, things like that. Uh, at the bottom, it has the um, uh, canning date. Uh, usually something kind of funny or appropriate to the canning date. Um, it does not give like hops, grain, anything like that. So uh, I do not know what's in this beer, but that's okay. We're going in blind. Oh, <laughs> yeah, very straw, yellowy kind of pineapple juice quality, somewhere in that pineapple grapefruit juice vein. Uh, the bubbles are, are not quite soapy. Somewhere in the in between, like compact and what I would call soapy. Uh, a more approaching soapy, and that's as about as much as I want to describe the foam on top of that beer. Let's get to the aroma. Hmm. This is my fourth in this week uh, of doing these beers. This one, the aroma is definitely the lowest of them. The other ones, it was pretty easy to pull stuff, and and the flavor or the aromas were really nice. And it was kind of, yeah, it was kind of easy to at least pick out several things that I was getting. This one's a little tougher. Yeah, I'm not really getting any, it's not that there isn't an aroma, it's just not bursting with anything. I get some, like, multi notes, uh, uh cracker white bread kind of stuff and then just like a little bit of sweet fruit but super generic i, I, I honestly i couldn't tell you maybe some strawberries it, it's really a faint nose it looks great the nose i'm gonna say it is a minus nose uh let's hope uh wow try that again let's hope the taste is better than the nose cheers It is a good taste. Okay, that's good. Kind of like, because it has a nice level of bitterness, but then there's a sweetness there, you know, fighting it out. And it kind of comes across, not like as a, like a, well, yeah, you know, almost like a sweet tart kind of a thing. It's not, it's not straight sweet tart, but it has a little bit of that quality going. Definitely some peach. Citrus, more in the lemon, grapefruit with some orange, like orange juice, kind of like, hey, no, it's not that bitter, guy. Um, it's pretty good. It's going to make for a weird review. I like this beer. I'm really excited to drink this beer, but... I don't think it would blow a lot of people's socks off. Like, I don't think there's a lot of people who, if they traded for this and they were drinking, they'd be like, I'm so glad I traded some crazy beer for this, you know? But it's good. Um, the taste is kind of like the aroma, though. Like, I'm not, I don't think it's fatigue. It's only the second beer I've had today. But I'm not just, it, it's not, it's not producing easily identifiable things. Um, so from a reviewing point of view, I'm sure this is a very crappy review, but it's like, yeah, this beer is good. I just can't tell you a lot what it tastes like. It's not overly bitter. I guess I can do stuff like that. But I can't pull out specific flavors. It, it has a nice level of bitterness, which is not surprising given the ABV and what they're calling it. Um, there is enough sweetness that I don't think, like if you're like me and you, uh, came up through craft beer to be the old man sounding guy with really hoppy, bitter IPAs, 
this is going to seem sweet to you. If you're just like a juice person, this is, might seem kind of bitter to you. Um, I don't think it's too crazy one way or the other. Yeah, it airs more on that. But like when I say citrus, like grapefruit, I, 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 again, it's not West Coast tasting. It's not like when, when you drink one of those and you think this tastes like grapefruit. This is like a New England IPA grapefruit. It's good. It's just, yeah, it's really hard to describe. Perhaps my crappiest review. <laughs> yeah, good beer. I don't know if I'd go crazy for it. Uh, of the four I've had, this is the weakest offering. Still looking forward to drinking the rest of it, though. Thanks again, Bob, for uh, the opportunity to try this beer. If you guys haven't checked me out on Instagram and Untapped, it's just no hype beer reviews at both those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.